In this tutorial, we'll look at an example of jQuery in action. And to the right here, you'll see I have an H1 intro to jQuery. And if I click fade out here, that fades out. If I click fade in, it fades back in. And this is a good example um, for showing, you know, the benefits of using a framework like jQuery. If we were to add the same functionality to our site just using vanilla JavaScript, um, we would need to add many, many more lines of code than what you see right here, especially to do the animation effects um, such as fade in and fade out. And there's also a lot of other animation effects in jQuery. So let me just explain what's going on here. Um, this dollar sign in the parentheses, this is a jQuery selector. So what we're doing right here is we are selecting the document and then we're attaching on the ready event listener. So once the document is ready, um, i.e. once all of this HTML has been downloaded and it's ready in our DOM, then we are going to start manipulating it. So once the DOM is ready, or also the window.onload event, um, then we're going to run this callback function, okay? And 99% of the time, all of your jQuery code should be inside um, a document ready function. So once the DOM is ready, we are going to select all of the buttons on the page right here. Um, you'll see I have two buttons up here. So if we just pass um, button in here, we are going to select all of the buttons on the page, and then we're attaching this click event listener to it. So anytime somebody clicks on one of the buttons, we are going to run um, this callback function right here. Now let's see what we're doing inside here. We are checking the attribute of the button. So this right here is referring to the button that's being clicked on. So if I clicked on fade out, then this would be referring to the fade out button. And if I clicked fade in, we'd be referring to um, the other one. So if that if the ID of the button being clicked on was equal to fade in, which is the first button, then we are going to uh, select the H1 and then fade it in over 1200 milliseconds. Um, or else, if it wasn't that one, then we know we're dealing with the one with the ID of fade out, and we're going to fade it out over 1200 milliseconds.